So I would describe my fragrance type as this, beast mode, heavy projection, and it needs to scream at people. Maybe I'm being obnoxious, maybe I'm a psychopath, I don't know. But basically guys, what needs to happen is when I spray a fragrance, I need people in Australia to smell me, okay? I have been trying with these skin scent fragrances, you know I have, and I know that there is a time and place for these fragrances. I know that, you know, they're cute, they're polite, they're nice and whatever, but I like something a little bit naughty. I like something a bit more risky, a bit more raunchy. <laughs> Why was my lips doing up? <laughs> what I described sounds like my type in men, but anyways. I do not buy fragrances to be only smelt by the Holy Spirit, okay? I buy fragrances to be smelt by everyone. And if you can relate, then honey, you are in the right place because I'm gonna be sharing with you some absolutely fantastic beast mode heavy projecting fragrances in my perfume collection and I know that I've made this video last year and I spoke about what like 10 fragrances back then I'm not gonna lie to you I have no idea what fragrances I spoke about then and I can't be asked to watch it I'm being lazy I can't be asked to watch it but I think I remember the fragrances that I included in that video and I deliberately don't want to include those fragrances again so don't think if you watch that video be like oh actually are those fragrances not beast mode anymore they are but i'm just trying to include some new ones okay okay angels let's get things crack a lacking and i'm gonna start off with a fragrance for my people that maybe don't want to try bdsm but you still want to choke people in other ways here i present to you amani Privé her majesty because i'm telling you boy if you overspray this fragrance you are going to choke everyone like i've made that mistake and boy do i regret it or do i or do i regret it i don't I think I actually regret it to be honest. Guys, this is beast to the modes. Like, it is so strong. This is such a gorgeous leather fruity fragrance but I think what I love the most about this leather is that the leather isn't levering for me it's nothing too scary it's nothing too animalic it's nothing too skunky it's got a lot of dried fruits it's got some osmanthus it's got some vanilla but if you can imagine a leather doused in a lot of sweeter notes that is what you would get with her majesty and yeah this is actually a special occasion fragrance for me i don't really wear it that much i only wear it on like special occasions like birthdays or granddads getting married or something i don't know i only really reach for this on more of kind of formal occasions to be honest but guys this is both mold this is going to choke people if you're not careful so just be careful okay right so i'm gonna move on to the next one now and i feel like i need to get through these fragrances really quickly because i've actually got a lot to get through today this next fragrance really is the pinnacle of intoxicating for me it is one of the most intoxicating addictive sexy but also one of the most beast mode fragrances that I have in my collection. This is Nishane's Nefs. You guys have heard me talk about Nefs a million times so I do not need to talk about this fragrance anymore and bore you but when I tell you how beast mode this fragrance is honey boo boo. I made another bloody rookie mistake on my birthday and wore this and literally sprayed it maybe about 15 times. I don't know who I thought I was. I think I was daydreaming to be honest guys. I think I was just going Ch -ch -ch -ch, what am I going to have for my dinner? Ch -ch 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 -ch. What am I going to order at the restaurant? Ch -ch 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 -ch. And then before you know it I've sprayed it like 25 times. Guys I stunk. I stunk of this. This is so strong. Guys, this is a gorgeous gourmand oud fragrance. It's got a lot of honey, it's got a lot of rose, it's got a lot of spices from the saffron. But then there's this gorgeous oud note underneath. And there's also this boozy whiskey note underneath, which is very, very addictive. As you guys know, this is my number one best discoverer of 2021. It's one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. Guys, this fragrance smells so good. Vanilla, vanilla chicken dinner. We are gonna talk about two of the most big beast mode vanilla fragrances that's in my collection because how can I be the gourmand queen and not talk about something a little bit edible? Last year, I discovered two of the most beast mode vanilla fragrances ever. In fact, I discovered a lot of beast mode vanilla fragrances, to be honest, but I'm only gonna bring two to the table today. The first one that absolutely blew my mind in 2021 with just how beast mode it is, is the Canto's Mirabelle. And I know that there are some of you out there that have commented on my video 
videos and says, Lauren, thank you for putting me onto this. Guys, I'm so glad that I can put you onto Be Canto Mirabelle. This is a very unique vanilla. It takes a very kind of green minty opening, which I think if you did the typical kind of going to a perfume shop, smelling something on a piece of paper and then kind of judging it by the first sniff, you would probably be like, nah, Take it back, take it back, me know what that, me know what that. <laughs> I sound like one of those Jamaicans in the Caribbean shop. You know when you like order curry goat and they're like to you, me not have that. Do you have planting? Me not have that. Do you have white rice? Me not have that. <laughs> but guys, bear with this fragrance. Give it five minutes. This fragrance is about to take you on a journey of a lifetime. As it starts to dry down, it starts to get very milky um, and it starts to get a little bit aromatic as well from the lavender. But honey boo, boo you are gonna get the most booziest deepest vanilla that you probably have ever smelled in your life to be honest and it's extremely sexy the amount of compliments that i have had on v canto mirabelle has been absolutely insane such a sexy intoxicating gorgeous vanilla and something that is really unique as well for vanilla lovers that maybe want something a little bit more unique you know because a lot of vanillas are starting to smell the same you know i'm not complaining but they are. So if you're looking for a really beast mode long lasting vanilla that just smells so sexy, then definitely check out the Canto's Mirabelle. I think I've said this before, but I would compare this to Initio's Absolute Aphrodisiac. It definitely has those kind of characteristics in it, that kind of chocolatey, caramelly, vanilla, boozy kind of vibe. But this honey is, it's, it's, it, it's, why am I stuttering like this? <laughs> but in comparison to the Initio, the projection on this is extremely that the initio is just a bit more moderate, kind of closer to skin vibe. So staying on the topic of Beast Mode Vanillas, this next one, blood fire. This one is so beast and I'm so here for it. Guys, this is a Profumo Romo Vanilla Taz. Not only is this the most beast mode vanilla I have in my collection, I think that this is actually one of the most beast mode fragrances out of all of them. Maybe, maybe not, but definitely it's up there for sure. Guys, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm actually so upset as well because the other day I clocked, look, look at the dents. Look at the dent. Guys, I've only had this for five minutes. What is going on? But guys, this is beast mode and I'm still just going Ch -ch 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 because I just want to smell like this all the time. I've actually had to chill out. I need to settle myself a little bit because I do not want this to run out. It's so hard to get in the UK, this fragrance, but with me. This is a sweet, sweet, sweet concoction. It's so strong. Like even just taking off the lid now, I can smell it in the air. This is orange blossom vanilla. But what's great about this fragrance is even though it's very very, very sweet, like sickly sweet. I think that because there's a note of myrrh in it, it almost calms it down and kind of takes it into a little bit more of a grown and sexy vibe, you know? Not one for the kids, you know? The kids are not going to enjoy sweet fragrance like this. This is for a woman that loves her sweet fragrances, but she needs something a little bit more mature, a little bit more grown and sexy. Let me pretend I'm on Blue Peter and do a little demo for you guys just to prove how potent and strong this fragrance is. Guys, this house in general is extremely potent and very, very strong, but it's because their fragrances are extremely oil based. Like, I don't really know much about the science, guys. You didn't come to me for science on this channel. But what I can tell you is that this is such a high concentration of perfume oil that it literally is oil. It's crazy, but it's so strong and I'm so here for it. But anyway, guys, this is for the sweet kind of candy floss vanilla lovers. You guys are gonna absolutely adore this. Okay, so we're gonna tiptoe away from vanilla for just a little bit. And let's just still keep on the same topic of gourmand and talk about a newer fragrance in my collection, the most recent gourmand in my collection that has been driving me crazy. Guys, I can fully see myself getting through this entire bottle because I'm just so addicted to this scent. It's so sweet, it's so gourmand and guys, this is bloody beast mode. This is the one and only EBK Deep in Desire. And if you guys watch my perfume haul, which if you haven't, I will link it in my description as always. But in my perfume haul, I spoke about the fact that someone sent me a sample of this in a bag of like loads of samples. And this is so strong that I could smell it when I opened the bag. It is so potent and I'm so here for it. Guys, I do not own anything like this in my collection, you know. I really, really don't. This is just perfection. I want to smell 
smell like this every day. I really, really do. It is one of the most addictive, addictive gourmand fragrances I've smelled in a long time. It's blueberry muffins and tea. I've got the notes here, right? Because the notes are really difficult to find online. So if you guys are curious, this fragrance has black grapes, grapefruit pills, calamine tea, hazelnut, bergamot, cedarwood, and dark chocolate. I personally don't get any grapefruit in this fragrance at all. And it's got black grapes in it, but I personally get blackberries or blueberries or something. I definitely get some sort of berry in this fragrance fragrance combined with yes I do get the chocolate definitely get the tea like this kind of calming undertone to the fragrance to make it not go too sweet and too like sugary because this fragrance is quite sweet that if it didn't have the tea I think it would just be overly sweet if that makes sense it's just very very well balanced I think that the hazelnut note in this is just adding a little bit more of a gourmand kick that you didn't even think you needed in your life and the citruses makes this fragrance perfect for the springtime now it's still springtime and everything I've not stopped reaching for this fragrance I've been layering it with Nishane Annie and honey that is a layering combination of gods this has been compared a lot to Floricou's umbrella for two I love that fragrance and yeah it does smell like that but in my opinion I don't think that that Floricou fragrance is worth the price in my opinion because that Floreku fragrance doesn't last long at all it's a very kind of skin scent kind of scent to me I don't think that it has the kind of projection sillage or sillage or however you want to say it or the kind of longevity that this fragrance does honey this fragrance is an absolute beast ever since I've got this fragrance this has just become one of my number one gourmand fragrances at the moment and yeah guys you need to get on this like please please get on it get on it okay so we're gonna move on to more of the unisex beast mode fragrances that are in my collection and I'm gonna start off with another newbie that is in my collection and I've just been obsessed with how beast this fragrance is this is by ex Nilo and it's called Brompton Immortals and this in my opinion is one of the best fragrances from ex Nilo this is a gorgeous saffron vanilla dominant fragrance it's very warm spicy it's got a little bit of rose it's got a little bit of florals in it from the Osmanthus. I really like how the House of Ex Nilo takes a little bit of like Middle Eastern touches to the kind of Parisian creation. But this is just a very exciting fragrance when you wear it. And guys, this is extremely beast mode. I remember saying that I wore this fragrance on Valentine's Day and my date was like to me, you are projecting right now. And I'm like, yes, I am. Yes, I am, and I'm so here for it. But yeah, this is a very intoxicating beast mode fragrance. If you love saffron, you like vanilla, you like spicy fragrances, then definitely check out Ex Nilo's Brompton Mortals. How could I do a beast mode fragrances video and not include this fragrance? Like, how could I do it? I could not do this video and not include the incredible Ombre Nomad by Louis Vuitton. If you love your oud dry, dusty, not too much sweetness, then Ombre Nomad is gonna be the fragrance for you. But guys, you better be careful with your sprays big man because if you overspray this fragrance honey you're gonna offend people at this point you're gonna offend them you're not gonna you're not gonna pleasure them anymore you're not gonna be cushy with that person anymore honey that person will cut you off they'll cut you off they won't want to see you again because you're gonna choke them and I mean if you're an obnoxious bitch like me then you don't give a f whether you choke them or not with this fragrance but I mean if you do want to kind of keep the connection keep the relationship going then definitely be careful with how many sprays you do of ombre nomads this is just a gorgeous oud fragrance guys one of the best fragrances from louis vuitton in my opinion i'm so glad that i have this guys and yeah i mean it's beast so happy days and the last beast mode fragrance that i'm going to talk to you guys about is again unisex and this is for my burning incense lovers you guys know what fragrance i'm talking about this is incense suave by mattia premier as you can tell by the name a very incense prominent fragrance but what i find very interesting about this fragrance is that it's got some gourmand undertones to it you know it's got this vanilla that actually pulls quite caramel like like I was really surprised that this had vanilla in it I honestly thought that there was caramel that I could smell because I think that the incense is almost kind of warming up the vanilla and kind of almost caramelizing it if that makes sense there's also a very prominent coffee note in this fragrance and I think that the coffee combined with the incense in this fragrance works amazingly as coffee does have this kind of burning smokiness to it so combined with the incense honey it's beautiful only a couple of sprays 
only a couple of sprays honey you do not want to over spray this one again because it is beast okay honestly if you go overboard with this one you're going to be done for gbh i'm not going to lie to you so just be careful with your sprays of incense suave because yeah it's potent to be honest guys i probably could talk about a couple more but those are the eight most beast mode fragrances that are in my collection and i want to know from you guys what are some of the most beast mode fragrances that are in your collection are you even bothered about a fragrance being beast mode or do you think that there's a time and a place for something that's a little bit more soft compared to a more beast mode fragrance let me know all your opinions in the comment section down below before you leave don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up as you know it really supports my visibility across this platform and if you're new please don't forget to subscribe i'd love to have you join the family thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye